So you know how it works. You go to a new doctor, they first send you an email with a form to fill out with all your information, saying, oh, you got to do this, you got to do that. You got to scribble on it. Or when you arrive there, you have to do it, you know, sitting down with that pen and you can barely read the stuff in the light there. Well, there's a better way. Now, I understand if you're a Chrome user, you don't want to set your default edge, but all you got to do is go to the file you're going to work on and right click on it and select the open with, and then you choose whatever you want. If your default's Chrome, fine, just choose uh, Edge. I'm using the standard version, and there it is. So they send you a PDF, and in this particular case, this is an Express Scripts form. I just have it loaded up in Microsoft Edge, uh, no problem. But what I can do is, if you look up here, there's annotation for drawing and all that stuff and everything, but there's also one right here for a text. So it's as simple as clicking anywhere on the form that you need to enter, and a box appears. And you just type, start typing. And there's, uh, put my name in here. And when I'm done with that, I can go anywhere else on the form uh, and do it again. And uh, come here to the next line. And I type in whatever I want or the information that's required. So don't worry too much if you make a mistake. You can go back and click on that area, and the box will appear again. And you can even move it around and change it to wherever you like. Not only can you do that, but once you get there, you can change the uh, uh, text by just clicking on here and change the font in the text. Change that. Uh, there's a larger font for that entry there. You can even change the spacing between the letters on the word by clicking on these boxes or reduce it. Now, this is not a full-blown editor where you can create checkboxes that people can fill this out. This is just for your own personal use. But once you've adjusted everything the way you want to see it and everything, just move on to a different field. Uh, just use the same text field uh, for everything. Uh, for example, uh, once I put this information in here, um, I put my social in. I know I'm very old, but it's not my social. Uh, let's say I, I need to uh, put in some more fake data, whatever. But if I get down to where there's checkboxes, uh, all you have to do for checkboxes is to come over and check on it you can use a shift X or X, whatever you think is appropriate, and there's the uh, checkbox. So there you have it. That's, that box is now checked. By the way, you know, it started out in blue, but you can go ahead and click on a checkbox and change the color. You just simply click there, and you come over here, and, uh, oh, that's the delete button. Go over to the far left, uh, which is a color button, and you can annotate with whatever color you want. In this case, I want to change it to black. And yes, if you have Microsoft spell checking turned on for your system, if you type in something here that's wrong, you'll get the little red line underneath. But note that you can't just click on it and it'll appear because it's a little blocked, I believe, by that. But if you right click, you'll get a menu, choose what you want, and uh, correct it. So let's try it uh, one more time. We'll go over here, give it a little different uh, word to check. Uh, wrong word. Right click, choose one of these options and then just correct uh, to the one you want. So besides typing, you can just use your paste buffer if you have something in another document. Uh, I'm going to open up Notepad here, and I'm going to type something in. Uh, my street, fake street, okay? And I'm going to highlight it, and now I'm going to do Control-C to copy it. And when I come back over here, and I click somewhere where I want to do it, and I create a text field right here, and right there, and I go Control uh, V. There it is. There it is, pasted in, and I can do the usual sizing and otherwise. So, what do you do after you have it all filled out? Well, you're ready to do save it. Now, you can save it as the exact same document, or you can save it as one with a different name. For example, blah 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 doc underbar save uh, or filled or whatever you want to call it. It's important because if you ever needed to have a blank document again, you want to have that copy without the annotations on it. Or if it's something that you need over and over again, you can save it with a different name uh, that indicates that just the header stuff is filled out, not all the details. That way you can just do the details when you need to do the new document. Now, if you want to go ahead and later on, maybe in Chrome, you want to print it out, just go ahead and open it in Chrome with your usual. You don't have to do this because your default's Chrome. And you can go ahead and print it just the way it is. 
but you notice everything's there for the being filled out. If you needed a blank form, you'd have to go ahead and uh, open the blank one up. Because even here, if I go up to the top right over here and I click on there to hide notifications or hide uh, annotations and they disappear here, they'll still print when you print it. And the same is true for Edge. If you click on the document and open it with uh, Edge, uh, it doesn't make a difference. You come over here uh, and you can hide the annotations if you want. But if you say print, they those are going to be there. There's no option here to hide annotations. That's why you need your original document. What if this is a one-off, a one-time uh, document you fill out for your doctor and you need all that information? Uh, don't worry about it if it's showing you or not. If your annotation is there, uh, it'll print out. But wait, why print it? Once you save it as a filled document, all you need to do is send it back to the doctor's office through whatever method they have, attach it to an email, upload it to their systems, whatever you need to do. Then, if it requires a signature, all you have to do is have them print the signature page out and you sign that. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like the video. If you want some more, please subscribe to the Yo Guy Geek and click on the bell to get notifications. You can also follow me on Facebook or Twitter. The links are in the description of the video.